Of all the AI tools I've ever shown language teachers, I think the one that people most respond to is Twee. It's not my favorite, certainly it's one of my favorites. And in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you all the latest 2024 updates. So you're going to learn loads of things that you probably didn't know that you can do in Twee. And I'm going to combine Twee with other tools and show you how I actually use Twee in my own studies of Polish. And that's the good news as well now. Twee works in multiple languages. Let's get started. Really hope you like the video and as always if you do please like it, please share it, please comment on it and of course join me on my YouTube channel. One last thing, many people ask me how I make my videos. I use Camtasia. If you want to try it out there's a link to test it for free in the description. You can also buy it with a discount. I've provided a link there and there's also a free six part course that will take you through everything in how Camtasia works and I'll also put that in the description. Okay, now I am using the Pro account. If we click on the plans, there are free versions as well. If you're interested in the Pro account, I'm gonna leave a link below in the description where you can get a 20% discount on the price. So you might be interested in that. And uh, But just keep in mind that even in the free account, you get a certain amount of use. Obviously in the Pro account, you get a lot more. We're gonna click on the tools. And the first one that I'm gonna to go to is vocabulary. So if you click on vocabulary, and then if you click or scroll down here, the one that I'm going to show you is essential vocabulary on a topic. Now, the brilliant news for me is that, and I actually study a few languages, but I'm going to concentrate on Polish, is that I can click now on Polish and work in Polish. And watch this. I'm just going to ask, and you can still ask the questions in English, even though you want it to write in Polish. And I'm going to say um, key vocabulary around football okay which is a topic that i often have to talk about uh, in polish uh, living with a polish family and someone who likes football i get all these words up on the screen uh, now what the lovely thing is that i can do with this is if i come down here and i'm going to show you a couple of lovely tricks here now watch this and we're going to ask for some sentences with that target vocabulary now remember if there's any words that you don't like you can press on edit and you might want to delete any of these words okay i'm kind of fairly happy with what I can see there. There's a couple of words I might have to quickly check or in the dictionary, but I'm, I'm kind of happy with that. I'm going to come down here and I'm simply going to click on sentence with target vocabulary and the level that I'm going to choose. So it takes all of that vocabulary and I'm going to choose level B1, B2 and I'm going to click on do the magic. Now it's going to produce for me lots of sentences using that target vocabulary, which is going to be really useful. And I'm going to show you two things now that I often do when I do this activity. Now the first thing we can do, come down here again, remember we can always edit, but I'm actually going to click on this button, copy, because I'm going to show you now two things I really like doing. The first one is, if I wanted to listen to those sentences being read out, I'm going to jump over to a free tool called Natural Readers, and I'm going to paste those sentences in so that I can listen to them being read out to me in Polish. So here I am on Natural Readers, I'm going to click on Get Started, I'm not even going to bother to log in, I'm just going to click on Personal, I have made a video on this and I'll leave that on the screen now if you want to learn more about this technology. But look at this. I'm just going to paste in all those lovely sentences. I'm going to come to the languages. So I've got to choose, in this case, Polish. Notice, again, this technology works in loads and loads of different languages, which is absolutely fantastic. And I'm going to use it completely for free. I'm going to choose Polish. So I click on Polish. I'm going to choose the voice of Marek. So I click on Marek. And now all I need to do is click here and I can listen to all of those sentences being read out to me. So let's see how good it works. I'm going to click on this button here. Pierwsze w każdą sobotę wychodzę na boisko, żeby grać w piłkę nożną z przyjaciółmi. Druga nasza drużyna wygrała dzisiaj mecz z rywalami i jestem bardzo dumny. Okay, so we won a match and I'm very ha um, and I'm very uh, proud. So this is brilliant for me because I can be reading the words and listening at the same time or even just repeating afterwards as well. So I can take those sentences that are made in twi and combine that with working with natural readers. Now what about if there's a few words there that I don't understand? Well one of the most obvious things for me to do is just to simply remember I've already copied these sentences from twi is to jump over to Google um, translate and just have the sentences translate and then I can check any vocabulary that I don't understand. 
So I can come over to Google Translate and just simply click on Google Translate, choose Polish, paste into the sentences. Now I can actually listen to these sentences also being read out here. The voices aren't quite as good, but the most important thing is that if there's any words that I don't understand, I can quickly just check the meaning, okay? So it's a really handy idea, and it's so easy that you can copy those words. Now let's go back to Twee and look at building up this activity a little bit more. Now what I want you to do this time is to concentrate on this button here, View Options. I'm gonna click on that, and what I'm gonna ask it to do is to highlight the vocabulary, okay? So I'm gonna click on this button here, and notice now that it's actually highlighted those words in, in a dark color. So I really like this the fact now that it focuses on the keywords, and what we can do, if we come over here to Export, and what we're gonna do is click on Export, and we're gonna include the correct answers, and we're gonna choose PDF, and so we're gonna click on that and we're gonna click on export. It's gonna produce obviously a PDF version of that. And visually it looks a lot better. Now if we, uh, let's just quickly go to our downloads and have a look, there it is. Look, there it is, we've got this list of words. And then of course underneath notice now, see we've got the words with the highlight. So that highlight is another great feature. Now let's go back to Twee, we'll look at some more features. I'm gonna bring in some more things that teachers often don't know. And I'm gonna do more com combinations with other technologies. Now just a couple of other things to mention before we move on. Remember, you can always change the title. And I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna call this Polish Football Words. Polish Football Words. And that's a really good idea as well. And of course that all comes out when you produce your PDF file, and you can even add a description, yeah? I might say, for example, here are some key words around football, okay? So just to put that in, etc. Just a super quick break from the video. If you do like what you see and you want more free videos, come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. Loads of content on the front page. We've also introduced these drop-down menus and obviously very popular are all the AI technologies that we focus on. If you wanna sign up to my newsletter and keep up with all the work that I do, you'll get updated with all the latest videos, but you'll also get a free 14 part video course in using technology in teaching and learning. There are no tricks, I really do focus on nearly all free tools. And don't forget, if you wanna go that bit further and actually have live training with me, well click on this button here and find out more about Patreon. Let's get back to the video. So let's take this activity a little bit further and we'll design some more activities to go along with it. So just like we did with the first activity, of course we could come into the second activity here and change it. I won't do that now, you know how to do that. But what I am gonna do is come down here and choose another option. Now the option that I'm gonna choose this time is gonna be, um, we're gonna click on word definition matching. Because we've got this vocabulary and we just wanna clarify uh, that we understand the words. So I'm gonna click on that. It's gonna grab all of those words that we've been focusing on. I'll keep the level to B1, B2. And I'm gonna click on do the magic. And what this is doing is now forcing me to kind of link the vocabulary, and notice it's all in Polish, to a definition of that word. Now, this is what I wanna show you. You might think to yourself, well actually, Really, this probably would be better as the second activity. And one of the things that you can do very easily is that you can just come here, roll over, and I'm gonna move that up and make that the second activity. So we've got this vocabulary here that we've been shown, and straight away our first activity now is to match it together. And then afterwards, we're gonna see that vocabulary in sentences. I think that makes more sense. Now what we're gonna do now is we're gonna extend this with one more activity. So I think a really good activity to do after learning the vocabulary and then seeing all these sentences and seeing the words in, in context to really help us to understand it is that we would now do some type of reading activity. So we got create using the words, so we still want to work around that the core vocabulary that we started with. It's one of the reasons why I like starting with vocabulary. And I'm gonna click on a text with target vocabulary. So I click on that and it grabs all those words that we're working with and now I'm gonna click on do the magic. Now I'm gonna actually make that a little bit longer. Okay, so we're making that a little bit longer. And um, I guess I better put the topic of football in. Now obviously, 
It doesn't need me to tell it to do this in Polish now because we're working in Polish and we've got the Polish vocabulary. I'm hoping that there'll be no problem in terms of the text being generated in Polish. Let's see what happens. I click on do the magic and off it goes. Now, what I'm going to show you now is how we could now take that text and notice that there are a couple of options here. There's one of them to shorten it. We've got to copy, to edit, etc. I'm going to copy that text. Okay, and I'm now going to bring that, but well, one obvious thing to do straight away would be to bring that into natural readers and listen to it being read out. But another thing would be to create a different type of activity based on that key vocabulary. And what I'm going to do to do that is I'm going to jump over to a technology called WordWall, which is brilliant for kind of interactive online formative assessment type activities. Now, if you don't know WordWall, uh, please watch the video that's on the screen now. That's going to give you a lot of help with working with WordWall. It can create a whole range of different activities. If you look here, you'll see absolutely masses of activities. Okay, And we could combine TWI and WordWall in many different ways. But what I'm going to do is this one, complete the sentence. I'm going to click on there. Okay, which basically allows me to create a gap fill. I'm going to paste that whole text in. And all I'm going to need to do now is just select the words that I want to practice. So I might have, for example, um, vigorac, which means to win. I'm going to add that as a gap. Um, um, okay, let's have a look at kilbit, kilbit, okay, okay, to support. So I'm going to click on that word there. Um, Okay, and then someone here about his favorite team. Okay, da, 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 da. let's call it score a goal. Let's have that word in here, etc. Okay, so I can take that text, and what I'm doing here is I'm building up this text into a gap fill. And I'll just do one more word for you. Um, uh, let's let's say yeah, this one here. Remember, okay. So I just click on that. So I've got my four words. I can even put in some trick words and give it a title, but I'm just doing this very quickly just to show you. And then I'm gonna click on done. And now we've got a gap fill activity based on the vocabulary and based on the text that was generated in TWI. So m linking TWI and WordWall is very clever and you can do this in lots of ways. And I'm continually doing this when I'm trying to kind of practice language. So, you know, some of the activity could be in the PDF file that TWI creates, but some of the activities could also be in WordWall. Okay, I really hope you liked that video. And if you did, as I said, please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. There's lots more free content. You can scroll down on the front page and see loads of uh, different videos. But also, of course, there's this menu system here at the top of the screen. If you really wanna keep up with my work, then sign up to the newsletter. That way you get updated with all the latest videos. You also find out about the free webinars that we often run. And uh, of course, you'll get that 14 part video course in using technology in teaching and learning. And that course, what it's all about really is the most popular videos on my YouTube channel, the ones that most teachers have responded to. And nearly everything that I focus on is free. Now, if you'd like to have live training with me and actually meet me online, and I normally training either one or two technologies in each session and we really work in detail with those technologies and learn them well so that you're confident enough to go in the classroom and actually use them with your students then join me on patreon not only do you get monthly training with me live online but you also get additional videos that i don't put onto youtube often dealing with technologies that i don't look at on YouTube and they go in more detail and they focus much more on the ideas as well of how we could use those technologies in our class. If you want to find out more about Patreon, click here. Now, if you'd like me, if you want to contact me because perhaps you want me to do some training with you, uh, perhaps you are interested in building up your YouTube channel or you want to learn more about Camtasia, then you can contact me from uh, my website by just clicking on the link here. And of course, I run training a lot with organizations, doing webinars, doing workshops, etc. So if you're an organization and you're looking for someone to do training in using technology in language teaching or even in education generally, but particularly my specialization is language teaching, then you can contact me from the website. I'm going to leave some more videos on the screen now that you might find interesting.